Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today it's a special video because finally my server went to a season 2 plus and in this video we will discuss every detail which, which, which in my opinion you should do to start your, your season in a good shape. As you can see my power is way less, I had 23 million but my alliance resurged to a different location because we wanted to have more wars and not a farm wheel so that's why I have less uh, power simply because uh, as you can see my hospital is full so first of all regarding rewards uh, let's talk about um, season starting rewards like every season whenever there is new season uh, the, there is a, a small compendium uh, which is determined by how good you played uh, in the last season like uh, how well you built towers, how many merits you had, like in general gameplay and you are getting these uh, Yggdra crystals when they win, uh, and then when uh, the compendium ink will come out your, you will spend your Yggdra crystals to acquire some of these rewards there is three compendiums, one is Anointed, uh, second is Conqueror and the third is Enduring. Uh, regarding like Anointed rewards, um, they added more Warped skills like 3 star skills but still in my opinion the most valuable thing here to get is Legendary Hero tokens because that's the mo most rarest uh, reward in the game currently like we will get a lot of gold keys, lot of artifact keys, lot of legendary medals by simply playing but legendary hero tokens are still uh, the priority in my opinion like my, my alliance finished on the conqueror so as you can see I chose legendary hero tokens here too uh, regarding like common ones um, I, su I suggest you to uh, always choose uh, ascension emblem because it, it's like most most valuable thing here but in general I think prestige and uh, uh, SP recovery potions are uh, great things to have so like uh, you can buy one thing one uh, legendary ascension emblem and after that depending on your Yggdra crystals you will purchase as much prestige and as, as much SP recovery as possible because SP recovery and prestige uh, is being cut whenever new season is starting uh, regarding other events, uh, of course, there is a Riches of the Forest event and uh, here we have four uh, legendary artifacts which we can get. Uh, one is Spring Blades, second is Spirit, uh, Spirit Bone Torque, that's a new hero's uh, artifact, Oath of the Storm Peak and Gold Crest. Depending on which is your uh, playstyle, you can spend some gems on this event, simply like your, you have like probability here and you can get these uh, artifacts uh, from here personally me I did not spend the gems here because I'm a free to play player and like if I can see I have Solon's Blades, I have Dragon Rift, I have Phoenix Eye, I have uh, Heart of Kamasi I have Kurata's Wrath and I have Lucius Horn and also I have Wolf Woman of Healer so uh, one and the most important thing for me to get here is gold crest and as you can see there is a lot more artifacts than one gold crest for me to get and I had a really 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 low chances so if here is uh, artifacts which you want to uh, have go for it uh, like start of the season artifact uh, events are always great because uh, it is like only time the free to play players can get them uh, the Wheel of Destiny, uh, we have like uh, Theodore, we have Forondil, uh, we have Goresh and we have Skolgul. This is the event I have spent my collected gems uh, personally and I got uh, Skolgul, uh, she was here. Uh, I hope to get either Theodore or uh, Goresh but uh, unfortunately my gem amount went down and the uh, only thing I could get here wa was uh, Skolgul. Like this is a great event simply because you will be able to uh, unlock the new heroes. Personally I don't have Theodore and I don't have Goresh, that was my main idea. Uh, doesn't matter if you are infantry player or cavalry player or marksman player, you simply want to have every hero which is in the game. 
and as a free to play player it is like much more than having just the heroes because some heroes we can't get uh, for example Lilia um, and Hosk right so like my idea was like let, let me take my chances maybe I will get Theodore maybe I'll get Gorish and maybe I can get Skolgul and I got Skolgul so I was pretty happy uh, other than that, legendary hero tokens and some speed ups are always great, but main idea about this event is all about legendary heroes. Uh, time to act, like a uh, lot of people are keeping their speed ups until the start of the next season, so this is the event, great rewards. Uh, like if you will be on top 10 on top 12 you are getting additional great great events uh, honestly this is meant for a whale players people who are spending a lot of money in the game not for free to play players um, I did my lowest amount I get all the uh, rewards which is gettable and rankings like honestly I, c I could call care less because these people are spending a lot of money in the game uh, Eliana's Chris Crisis, like if you didn't have already awakened Eliana, great uh, chance and great way to get her awakened because the awakening skill is like best spell uh, Eliana has in my opinion, like a lot of shields, a lot of healing, a lot of um, damage reduction. Eliana in general is a great great epic hero uh, paired with uh, Garud for example. So like when yet again, more chance to have Eliana's uh, tokens uh, other than that like um, as always uh, glory there for the taking like as much like i think everybody will get these rewards um unfortunately my alliance got resurged so like i every time every season i i began this playing this game i'm always resurging because i'm sticking with my alliance so this is like my main idea like uh, how these events and how these rewards should be and done uh, as a free to play player other than that try to farm uh, and uh, spend your sp, SP uh, as much as possible because our every hero is 30 le level and we might we want to have our heroes um, as high as possible uh, other than that like uh, i see a lot of improvements i'm playing with pc version and like even graphics like even uh, settings are in a good mood. I, I think this is a it will be a great great season uh, with a lot of content, with a lot of war. Um, I hope you liked the season two plus first video. Uh, I will continue doing what I have done already a couple of months. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.